All right, in this video, let's learn about accelerators and global shortcuts. In Electron, accelerators is just a fancy term for a keyboard shortcut. So you can customize your application to have shortcuts so that you can just work with the keyboard as well. A practical example is the copy and paste commands. We seldom use mouse clicks and often use Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V shortcuts to perform the copy paste operations. So shortcuts are definitely useful in any application and let's learn how we can create them in Electron. Now I will continue with the menu demo application for this particular video as well. So if you have a look at the edit menu, you can see the keyboard shortcuts right next to the submenus. So undo is Ctrl Z, redo is Ctrl Y and so on. And if you have a look at the code within our template, so if I expand the template, you can see that the edit menu is built using the roles. So if you build a menu using roles, you don't have to specify keyboard shortcuts. Electron adds them for you. However, many a times you will build custom menus and might want to assign your own keyboard shortcuts. So let's see how to assign a shortcut to one of the submenus. So we have our help menu. Let's slightly modify this. To this help menu, I'm going to add a submenu. So submenu, there's going to be an array. And within the array, we are going to specify one single submenu. The label is going to be about electron. And then I'm going to assign this click handler. So we have our help menu and within the help menu, we have a sub menu, which says about electron. And when you click on that, it is going to open in the browser, this particular link. Now to assign a shortcut to this particular sub menu, we use the keyword accelerator followed by the combination of keys that have to be pressed. So accelerator, and I'm gonna assign command or control. So based on Windows or Mac machine, plus shift plus H. So control shift H is going to open this particular URL. So let's restart our application and test this out. Control C to cancel it. NPM start again. So now if you have a look, we have about electron and you can see the shortcut mentioned right next to the label, control shift H. So I can open the website by clicking on this particular menu, sub menu, or I can press control shift H and it still does the same. So we have created a shortcut for our sub menu. So this is how you would assign a keyboard shortcut to one of your submenus. So just specify the keyword accelerator followed by the combination of keys that have to be pressed. Now here's the thing, this shortcut works only when your application is in focus. It will not work, for example, if I am actively working in Visual Studio Code. So over here, if I press Control Shift H, you can see that I get search and replace. So it doesn't work when your application is not in focus. But then again, you might build an application where you might want a keyboard shortcut to work even when your application is not in focus. A practical example is when your application is supposed to capture your screen. So your app might never be in focus. It might be running in the background. So let's see how to register global shortcuts. A shortcut which works even when your application is out of focus is called a global shortcut in Electron. Now to create a global shortcut, we first need to import the submodule from Electron. So over here, I'm going to say const global shortcut is equal to Electron dot global shortcut. And then within app.onReady, let's register our global shortcut. So we are going to specify global shortcut dot register. So when you invoke the register method, you can register global shortcuts. 
Now, the first parameter is a string, which is the combination of keys for this particular shortcut. So I'm gonna say this is alt plus one. And then we're going to have a function that gets executed when this combination of keys are pressed. And I'm just going to say window.show. So if the window is in the background, it is going to bring it, it is going to bring the focus to that particular window. Basically what this does is when you press Alt and one, it brings your application into focus. So let's say you're working on some other application and want to quickly take a look at your application, you can just press Alt plus one. Let's test this out. So I'm gonna restart the application, npm start. Now over here, we have our application in focus. So I'm gonna minimize this and then now I'm gonna press Alt-1 and you can see that it brings it into focus. So our global shortcut is working. Now this is a basic example, but you can perform any logic or operation or fire any event using global shortcuts. But one thing you have to make sure is when you close your application, these shortcuts are unregistered. So for that, so we are going to specify app.on will quit a function and then global shortcut dot unregister all. So when your app is going to quit, it is going to unregister all the global shortcuts. So that is pretty much how you create shortcuts and global shortcuts in your Electron application. For a shortcut, you just specify the keyword accelerator followed by the combination of keys that have to be pressed. And for a global shortcut, we first need to require the global shortcut module and then in app.onReady method, we're going to have global shortcut.register to register our global shortcut. We specify the combination of keys and what is the functionality for that particular global shortcut. So in our example, Alt plus one will bring our browser window into focus. And you also have to make sure that you unregister all the global shortcuts that have been registered in your application when you quit that application. So that is about shortcuts. Let's take a look at shell module in the next video.